Hello and welcome back everyone. Today we will continue our data structure series with linked list program. So let's continue. So what's linked list? Linked list is a linear collection of data, but the physical placement of data in the memory is not linear. So how we can call this a linear collection of data? This is because data here points to its next data. Now for the program we need to define a class. Let's name it as node. It will contain two variables which will which we will put inside the init function. This function will take our data as an input. It will contain two variables. First will be the data and the another will be the next. Data will contain the data of the node and next will contain the address for the next node and initially it will be none. Now we need to define another class named as linked list to perform operations on the data of the linked list. Now we need an object of the node class. Let's call it as CURR in short for current. And we need to define a head variable which will be initialized whenever the object of the class is, in, is, is created. So we will put it in init function. Head will be none when it is initialized. To insert the data into the linked list we need to define a function insert now here we need to take input from the user let's call the variable as val where we will take the input from the user input could be of any type so we will not define the type of the input now we will put this input into a, a new node variable which will be the object of the node class containing data val as the data and now we will check if our head is empty which will be if head is none if head is none then this node is the new node it's the first node so we will put it into the head else we will put in put it into the next node of the current How current will get to the latest node? We just put the new node into current, and every time the function runs, it will continue to the new node and it will keep on to the latest node. Our next function is insert at. This function will allow the user to insert a node at any position in the linked list. This function will take pos, which you can call it pos for position as an input from the user this pos will be an integer type of variable so that we can use it in the looping and so we have typecasted the input into the integer type and the val and new node will be same for this function too so we can copy and paste it now we will start a loop with i in range 1 to pause the value inserted by the user and here we will check if the next of current is equals equals to none but at first we need to define next the current so here we will keep the current equals to head so current equals to hat and if next of current is equals to none then we will put this new node into the next of current and if If the next of current is not null, then we will need another value. Let's call it as PTR, which will contain the current. And current will shift to its next node. So current equals to current dot next. And loop will continue until we reach the position desired by the user and then we will put 
the PTRs next. We, we will define PTRs next as new node and then new node then new nodes next will be the current. Now to remove a node we need to define another function. Let's call it as remove from because we can track the node using its value as well as its position. I will be using the position and its code will be similar to the insert add function so we can copy it. Let's copy it. But we don't need the val and new node variable in, in this function so we will delete that. And in the loop in the if statement if the current next of current is known none then we will print that the position we have entered does not have any data and the else part will remain the same now we need to relink the previous node with the next node so PTRs next will become currents next and we will print the node we have deleted which will be the current node To display the link list, we need to create another function. Let's name it as display. And before we start, we need to we need the current variable to point the first node, which will be the head. So we we'll put current equals to head. Now we will start a loop, which will help the nodes from move to next to next, so that. So now we will print the first node which will be the current then we check if current next is none then there is no next node So if there is no next node then we need to return from here else if there is a next node then we will shift the current to its next node so current will be equal to current next. So this will display our whole link list. Now we need a main function to run this program. In the main function, we will create an object. Let's call it at obj as the object of s link list class. Now we need another loop so that user can choose again and again. And we will take an input from user in a choice variable. Keep the choice variable as a normal input. User can input insert anything. We don't want it to throw any error if we type cast it into another variable. Then if user in inserts A B C D, it will throw an error. No. There is no switch case in Python, so we need to use if else the statement to do the work of switch case. So if choice equals to 1, 
we will put one as an string we will call the insert function of the class and lf choice is equals to 2 then we will call the function insert at and if choice equals to 3 then we will call the function remove from if the choice equals to 4 then we mean we need to call the function display and if the choice is 4 5 then we need to exit from the code so we will write the exit code which is exit function and else if user enters something else then he or she should see an error so we will print an error and say try again so that user will try again now let's try to run this code and we got some error i think we have done some error now let's check what's the error it should be here at the creation of the first object of node uh, we forgot to give any data that should be none we don't want to create any random data now here we have another error we forgot to return and it should be none instead of node we write it typed it wrong and here we also should have returned and here node will also be none and yeah now it's okay now we can run the code so we rerun the code and here it's running now let's check insert 1 and data 12 1 data 45 and then let's check and so there's another error it's displaying the address we should have current dot data here and here too it should be current dot data now let's rerun the code stop and rerun now 1 data 12 1 and here it's running it's just playing the link list and now internet is also running it's working and now now let's try another thing delete there's an error let's check this again we forgot to define ptr function before using so ptr should be none before using it and now we should check the code again code again so if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more updates thanks for watching